Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sadie and today I'm finally testing out the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Killer eyeshadow palette and the collection. Um, I am going to apologise straight away that this video is going to be a bit jumbled. I'm having to do a voiceover. There is some parts of the video where I do have audio but for some reason my microphone just checked out. So I'm going to try my best for you guys to try and do this. I do apologise for the delayed video. I do currently have Covid and um, yeah it's just been a hot mess trying to sort this video out yeah it's just not been fun so first of all we're going to do is some swatches and then i'm going to go to tutorial which i know some of it has a voiceover and then i'm going to give you my final thoughts in the end which i'm going to have to do a voiceover again so please just bear with me on this one but if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and yeah please check me out on instagram and let's get on with the video so here I am swatching the highlighter palette. Um, I really, really enjoy the formula of this. It's definitely more glittery than the original Skin Frost. Um, I really, really do like it. I love the shades. I don't particularly think the last three shades of the palette are that sparkly as the other ones. I feel like they're a bit more dimmer. Um, but I'm absolutely in love with this um, Skin Frost anyway. So I'll always be pretty biased. Um, I actually did swatch Ice Cold Next to You, which is the one I'm pointing at right now, um, just so you can see in comparison, because I thought, oh, was Ice Cold going to be any different? But obviously not. Here are the swatches of the Beauty Killer palette uh, number two. So this is the brand new palette. I love the swatches of these, apart from self-expression, which is yellow. It did not swatch as well as I thought it would. But these were so buttery, so creamy. Um, I just thought they were absolutely stunning to swatch i think i really think this is a new formula because they just swatched so much better than any of the ones i've ever tried i don't know why i was shaking my arm there then <laughs> jeez so this is the original beauty killer i have never really ever liked this eyeshadow palette when it first came out i didn't even buy it this took me years later to buy it afterwards just so i could add it into my collection yeah, it's really, really dry. There's a few shades I like, like China White, Courtney, um, Princess and Star Power, but it's a really, really dry form. You can definitely tell that this is like a first palette of his. You can definitely see throughout the years his formula changing and getting better. But I thought I'd just do like a nice little comparison side by side so you can sort of see the colour differences between the two of them. Uh, so we're going to start in with a tutorial. My first shade I went in with was Redemption on just like a flat floor line, um, sort of smudgy crease brush, if you say. So I'm just going to start doing my old technique, but I sort of do that sort of triangle at first because I really wanted this to be blown out and smoky. As you can see, I pat it all in and put it through my crease as well, just slightly on the outer corner and wing it out. This shade goes everywhere, just a word of warning for everyone. As you can see, I'm just defining a little bit now with a Morphe M506. This has no extra product on it because this product is super duper pigmented. It went absolutely everywhere, so be very, very gentle. Um, as you can see with the video, it is slightly patchy. It does sort of remind me of that. Um, is it Swallow from the original, um, from the Androgyny palette, actually? It reminds me of that. Um, where it just goes that slight bit patchy the more and more you mess about with it. But you can see I keep on packing on the colours. And then I go in with just a plain Morphe. I couldn't tell you the number, but it's just a really, really fluffy brush. No extra product, just to then blend it out and really smoke it out. This is literally just the one shade. I didn't want to mess with anything else. Um, I did try another shade and I did not like it at all. Then took my P. Louise Cut Carver and my P. Louise Base in Zero. I did cut the crease. Like I said, this video is really, really jumbled up. So I didn't record this because I was going to do a full looks one video and I just ran out of time. So this video is a cock up anyway. But as you can see, I cut my crease with a white base because I'm then going in with the shade Self Expression, which I really wanted to pop. So I really wanted a white base underneath. I really, really packed on this shade. I really wanted it to be intense. I really wanted it to be the star of the show. I did really, really like this colour. It's really, really nice and opaque. Um, 
very very buttery very very smooth it comes off really well on the brush it did come off more slightly more green but i think that's just because i mixed it in slightly with the blue and the white even though i put a white down i think it did mix in with my blue still which created just a bit more of that deeper green I then took the Ice Crusher Highlighter Palette because the one flaw about Beauty Killer is that there isn't really a highlighter shade. So I took the shade Avalanche and I popped that in my inner corner and I think I did place that on my brow bone as well because I really wanted a bright inner corner. I feel like the one shade in the Beauty Killer Palette, number two, would have just been way too dark and I just wanted something lighter in the inner corner. Yeah, as you can see I apply Avalanche just on my brow bone as well. I also took a bit of Gag Me Extreme Frost because I still just wanted a little something more, even though Avalanche was absolutely fine by itself and I enjoyed it, I just wanted to be a little bit more extra. I then took my Inglot 77 um, gel liner and my F Proof Mascara with a bit of Makeup by Tammy Cake liner and with my Peaches in Cream liner brush i just created this really unusual shape i did put the inglot eyeliner just a line on my lid and through my waterline and i created a little bit more of a cat eye can i just say Sarah loves makeup um got me on this inglot eyeliner and it is amazing and so is this peaches and cream brush I, I wanted a wing but i didn't want a black wing like a typical wing so i just really wanted to go out there and have like a really quirky look I then used my Doll Beauty, no, I lie, that is Unicorn Cosmetics Dark Matter Faux Mink. Right, hello, yes, I've done my base. Um, I know this is going to be a really weird video. Obviously, I'm like realising this now that I've got this close, that um, it's just going to be a bit of a... I've just had a weird day and I, I'm running out of daylight. It's literally like three o'clock in the evening and I still have stuff to do. So I'm definitely going to put myself back in focus. Thank you very much. And... Um, I'm gonna try my ice crusher even though I've got it on my lids and it looks really really nice my eyes I can't wait to try this on my face <laughs> Ooh, I think I might go in with see um ice picks headaches and nice really shade but I mean like avalanche is just gonna be fucking blinding so I feel like I need to go in with that also can I just say I'm fucking loving this eye look my god I'm sorry if I got really bright the sun is coming out God damn. Ooh. Why does that remind me of Gag Me in a skin frost form? I'm not mad at it at all. Nice. Maybe on this side I'll do Ice Pick Headache. I've just completely forgot that I haven't put my blush on either. Oh yeah, you could definitely, I can't see if you can see on camera, I was like, oh there isn't much of a difference, but there is like this pink shift to it, very nice. This though, <laughs> it's very glittery. Yeah, I've got like specks of glitter everywhere over my face now. Right, I'm gonna finish up my makeup and I'll be right back. So there you have it guys, here's the finished look. Um, can I just say, I love it. Like, at f I'm not gonna lie, like, when I was doing this, I was like, this isn't gonna work, I'm not gonna like it, but my God, when I tell you I am fucking living for this look, like, I feel like, oh. All right, so let me give you my first impression, final thoughts about the palette. <laughs> This palette's a mess. It doesn't look like it because I've blown on it so much. So my critique, well, actually, let me just say, these look and feel like a brand new formula to me. I could be wrong, but these just feel really different. Like even they look different. I don't know if it's just me, COVID's gone to my brain. Um, 
<coughs> must be COVID, but it just doesn't feel like his old formula. It feels really, really new. I really, really like it. I will say, obviously, I've only actually used two shades in this palette, which, yet again, I apologise because this was actually going to be like a four looks um, one video, but um, I just ran out of time today. So, unfortunately, I just went with this look and I just carried on with it so actually I've only used two shades so I am gonna be a little bit biased here because I haven't really uh, tried the whole entire palette this blue is fantastic not for beginners it goes absolutely everywhere and don't get me wrong you all know I'm a blue girl you know I love my blues so I think you all know I've experienced a lot of blue eyeshadow this went everywhere I had to wash my hands had to continuously wipe my face no matter how much I tapped off the excess it went everywhere and as you can tell I'm now having to do a voiceover yet again because for some reason my mic went out as you could previously hear in the last little snippet um, I was just saying that obviously a word of warning for that shade redemption it went absolutely everywhere in my hairline etc etc it it was just absolutely everywhere um, but yeah, I absolutely love the tone of Redemption, which is the first shade I actually I went into. Um, I thought it would be darker, to be honest with you. At first, when I looked at the palette, I didn't even see blue, but I just, yeah, it needed to be a black in this palette. I then went in with self-expression, um, which I'm really, really happy the outcome. Um, when I was in the middle of actually doing my look, I thought it'd be a bit more brighter, but now I finished it, I really, really enjoy it. I'm so happy that it's actually better than... In my personal opinion, this is my own thoughts, by the way, agree to disagree, but I really prefer this than food videos in conspiracy. Um, I I hate the shade in conspiracy food videos. It just is like another yellow to me. It means absolutely nothing to me. It did come out like a really nice neon colour as well. I just really wanted a darker colour. To me, the colour story just makes no sense. I still really like the palette, though. It made me really think about outside the box and try and create some looks that were really unique and special and different that haven't been really seen before. But it's not beginner-friendly. Like, I feel like this will scare a lot of people. Especially with this formula. It's quite pigmented. I'm being a bit biased, I know, because I've only used two shades. But just from these two shades, like, this is the experience I've had. Um, now I'm showing you the shade Death Row that I tried to blend out with the shade Redemption. So this is actually my second look using it. I had to take my first look off because it just was not working. You'd think Death Row would work with Redemption, but it does not. It just went really grey and muddy and I was not a fan of it. It definitely needed a black and a highlight shade in this palette. I can really see some really looks. I've got all these looks in my head. Um, I'm looking forward to using like self-expression in the corner with like a black smoky eye with like the gunmetal on top but I'm pretty mistaken that I feel like in the videos I could see like a teal shade and I don't see that in there but oh well it will have to be they are very very pigmented they are very buttery smooth but I think this will put a lot of people off this palette it's more of like an add-on palette it's not cohesive but I definitely can see some looks using other palettes such as weirdo with black shades in it etc i'm really happy he's gone back to his old packaging i love the packaging as you can see it's quite nice and simple the unicarton was really really pretty as well i'll always love his like crazy packaging but i still love the original just because it's nice and easy to store nice and simple as you can see it's the same length same width it's just a bit thicker and a bit more sturdier i feel like there couldn't be much more i could say about this palette i I'm going to do more videos using this. Like I said, I wanted to do a full ones look palette. It just, I ran out of time. So I feel like I can't give you my full verdict because I want to keep on trying this palette. I can see all the looks and I just want to get some looks going and try something new and different. So we're going to talk about the Ice Crusher Highlighter Palette now. Um, I really, really enjoyed this. It's really, really beautiful. I absolutely love his Skin Frost and I love his Skin Frost palettes. And I feel like he hasn't bought any out in ages. So I was really, really looking forward to it. It's really wearable to a certain extent because I don't see many deeper tones, you know, being able to actually wear this palette. It's giving me more extreme frost vibes, actually. It's more of a crumblier formula. Um, it still looks really, really pretty on the skin. It really blends well. I absolutely love his skin frosts. You can see the skin, um, they can see the shifts in the actual colours. It definitely reminds me, like, of if it's extreme frost. But to me, this palette was so random in this collection. Like, here I'm saying, what <laughs> what does Ice have to do with Beauty Colour? He totally should have, like, kept this Ice Crusher for another 
um, collection, so it actually made more sense. And what you should have done is replace the ice crusher with velvet traps. Like, oh, lipsticks would have just been absolutely perfect with this collection. Like, when I was watching the video, that's all I was waiting for. But I do really love this palette. It's always handy, good for pro kits, and um, you'll definitely get a lot of use, and it's become my favourite. The last thing in the collection was the chrome mirrors i'm so happy i got the pink one um like i'm here i'm literally saying like i'm not a pink person but i really really wanted it because it seems more fitting in the collection being pink it's actually really got a good mirror in it i thought i wouldn't see a lot of my face but you can actually see like your full face in there um really really nice it's still like heavier than his originals but it's really really nice to hold as well and i just absolutely love the shape of it um i will be honest mine felt a little bit flimsy um, as you can see here, it sort of felt flimsy in the handle, like it was going to sort of eventually loosen and break, but I do adore it. I'm just going to use it and then put it away <laughs> so I don't break it because I love it so much. So that's my video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give me a nice big thumbs up. Please follow me on Instagram. Um, I am going to do another video using this um, eyeshadow palette. I'm going to definitely do some more looks and hopefully I can get that up for you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!